Premise is simple. Get Mutas out, Nidus to the islands, kill the Cybercore, Stargate, Robo, and just face roll all over the keyboard. And you know, the day that I'm going to be very happy, man, is when you play a ladder game and anonymously you play against Elfie Dyer and Elfie scouts just by and he drops three Stargate <laughs> <laughs> and produces 50 Phoenix and snipes all your Mutas. That's going to be a happy day for me. Kevin, it'll be a happy day for me too because I will know that I was in the presence of a god. Of a god. <laughs> <laughs> Liquid Chef is, of course, our purple Zerg spawning on the right top side of Metropolis. SKMC is the winningest player of all time in StarCraft 2. Of course, the red Proto spawning on the left top side. Well, left middle side. 9 o'clock position, basically. It's been a long night, guys. We started at 6. It's past 10 now. And we are still not done. After this, we are still supposed to have Teja versus 5. We I can started imagine. at 6. What are you talking about? We started at 4, bro. Yeah, that's kind of true, too. Yeah, but I mean, I didn't do much at four. I, I mean, all I did was kill you in Dota. That's Whatever, man. I killed you. Yeah, you killed you me. You were my one kill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it. No, I don't know. I actually, like the time that you killed me, you used Kunkas ultimate, but um, Defense and Assessment is what killed me, but I was so low on HP because of your ultimate. Because you misplaced it, so you hit me. No, man, I was aiming it at you. No, 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 no. I didn't know where it was going to go, but I was aiming it at you. I was like, please hit Roddy. <laughs> <laughs> that was my one goal for the whole game. Uh, Chef is not going for hatch first this game, man, like we saw him do on the previous map. This time he's going for 14 pool, 16 hatch. So still a standard opening. MC is playing it safe as well, getting the forge before the Nexus. Yep. And uh, what I want to say, by the way, Ben, before we went into the break, is that I feel a little bit bad for Chef, because I spoke about this with Red once. Oh, excuse me. Um, during the NSL finals, uh, we watched the games of Stefano. Stefano played fantastic against MC, but MC also made a few mistakes against Stefano. And now then, and then when MC played against Red, like uh, Red really tried his heart out, but he just couldn't get anything done. And then Red came to me and he's like, am I crazy or is he really playing a lot better to me than he is against Stefano? Now, obviously that's not on purpose, but I, I actually felt the same way watching it. I was like, wow, MC, if you would have played like this against Stefano, now of course games are always different, but just you know, to the, yeah. how do you say that, flat eye? Or to the naked eye? To the naked eye, you just kind of feel that MC played better against Red than he did against Stefano. And I also feel that whenever MC plays against Chef, he plays really, really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> and that's so sad for Chef, because he keeps running into MC. And Chef is a fantastic Zerg player. I mean, there's nobody who beat me more often in Heart of the Swamp so far than Chef did. It's kind of sad, actually. I don't think I beat him in a single game yet. <laughs> Even the tournament where I managed to defeat Dimaga, I still lost without a chance against Chef 2 Like, both games were very one-sided, and I'm sure that Chef must have been sitting at home wondering how on earth did Rotterdam ever beat <laughs> Dimaga? He's terrible. Man, did, Ma did Dimaga <laughs> oversleep today? <laughs> <laughs> Even though he would never say that, because Chef is so nice, but yeah, he just completely stomped me. But I know he's such a good player, but whenever he plays against MC, it seems like MC is playing fantastic. Yeah, MC Chef is quickly becoming the uh, Goody versus Cloud yeah. of the European scene. This is nice. Uh, Chef being annoying with a few links, at least forcing out one photon cannon over here. I like that. You know, it's a small thing that delays Protoss a little bit. As you can see, no additional tech has been thrown down yet for MC. 150 mineral investment that will uh, ultimately not really do much. Uh, maybe if MC ever takes a third base, he'll take those rocks out and the cannon can help with that. But that's really the only thing it's ever going to achieve. Uh, Stargate going down for MC. I like it, man. One MC, guys. one of the very yeah. few Protosses. Uh, something we spoke about earlier tonight, when you often have Protoss players who love Stargate, uh, Stargate, and you have the Protoss players who don't love Stargate. There are very few who do both, and MC is definitely one of those guys. You can see the craziest 6, 7, 8 gate out of him, or 4 gate plus 1 with Void Raid, or you can just see standard Stargate play into macros yep. now. He, uh, he was one of, the, one of the Stargate pioneers. Sorry, man. Can you blink to this helicopter pad? I don't think so. Why wouldn't no, you? Actually, it looks kind of like maybe you could. Wow. Can someone please at the Twitter universe out Is there let me know? part of the map? There's no way. I don't think so. You think so? I don't think I so. I mean, it, look at the minimap. I don't think that, I think that's like un, like unplayable terrain. Okay. I don't think so. If somebody out there <laughs> at home tried this out, That would, that would definitely be the counter to my style of play. <laughs> <laughs> like chain blink. You just blink onto the helicopter pad, blink onto the island. Man, that would make me so mad. Blink Island, Tower, Island, Tower, <laughs> boof. <laughs> well, that would be awesome. Uh, uh, Chef is going to sacrifice an overload over here. He's going to try to see what's going on. Will he see the Stargate? Yes, he will. Yes, wow, final, He's final, the final second. And the building Phoenix, so he knows exactly what he's up against. Good Kevin, scout. this is a style you're pretty familiar with. What do you think MC needs to do with this to make it worthwhile? 
Uh, well, Ben, the funny thing is that this style kind of always makes itself worthwhile because what you're going to do is you're going to take out every single overload on the map. Look at the production tab. You're always going to force out spore crawlers. But there is more. If MC wants to make this work, I think he needs to get a going up to three bases around 10 minutes, 30 seconds, 11 minutes. That's the best way to play this. Uh, you gonna tr if you can pick up a few queens, that's absolutely awesome. If you can force out even more spore crawlers, that's awesome. But at least take out all the overloads. You will always pick up a few drones, man. That's inevitable. As long as there are no um, investors out on the map with Fungal Grove, you will pick up uh, drones. It doesn't matter how many freaking sport crawlers there are. And in this case, he's actually going to be able to pick up a queen, unless the other queens are going to come to the rescue. But no, the other queens, they don't like this queen, man. <laughs> no, the queen won't fall. This is MC, man. This is MC! <laughs> I'm MC! <laughs> I'm MC! I'm Michael Phoenix and he's doing it. Uh, so man, there's like all the all the gods of the game. I'm MC! I'm Elfie! Mm -hmm. I'm MC! What did Elfie have to do with it? Because he's one of the gods of Protoss. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm MC! That's like his actual title. <laughs> I am yeah. MC. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's actually really cool that the best player of all time <laughs> named himself MVP and plays for the clan I am. Like, is that even... That's kind of weird. That, that would feel like a conspiracy theory to me. Conspiracy theory, I should say. Man, it's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it has. Picking up drones, picking up overlords. MC is doing what he should be doing, Ben. No reason to overextend. I love the amount of phoenixes right now. Six phoenix is good. No more. Uh, more would be useless because eventual... Uh, oh, he's going to pick up this overseer as well. Take a look at the units lost resource step so far, Ben. It's going to be 900 or 1,025 even against 50. So mm. did these phoenixes pay for themselves? No, not yet. But what they did do is take away all map control of Chef. Look at MC, man. I said 10 minutes, 30 seconds, 11 minutes. This is MC! He takes it at 10 minutes. I do worry a little bit because Chef's economy is pretty unchecked. 75 drones. He's got investors popping but it's out. it's going to take quite a while, Ben, before he actually gets aggressive. And by the time that they, uh, he can get aggressive, look at all these sentries. And look what's on the way. The Robo Bay. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> I'm getting there. One day at a time. And every time I rhyme, I shine. <laughs> I always say shine. You always say shine. You try to rhyme shine with everything. <laughs> no, well, 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 I try Win to behind, say shine. <laughs> 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 no, as soon as he has one Colossus on the map, Ben, it's really fine. And as soon as he has the second Colossus on the map... Man, they need to change this sign to do Gangnam style. <laughs> Which one? Where is it? It's like uh, right, the right there. Whoop, a Gangnam style. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. That'd be so awesome. Yeah, with the girls dancing over here we'll as put well. Put the no? Dancing Immortals there. <laughs> yeah. The boys saying, hey, sexy lady. I don't think Chef is going to be aggressive at all, Ben. This Fort Hatchery is on the way. Uh, I see no way yeah, that Infestation pits down, spires yeah. down. We're probably going to see hives starting very soon. Exactly, which is still going to allow MC to be able to hit a pre-hive timing. This is the way if you do it everything perfect like I like to go double robo behind this and that might sound silly but I cut into the gates I add the gates later on if you get if you get four colossus out really early on Ben I feel you can almost bust anything uh, certainly with six colossus it doesn't matter how many investors there no matter how many spines and you should still be able to hit before brutes and the funny thing is even when the brutes are out if you still have six phoenixes alive they can definitely help out in the fight slow and steady wins the race that's what the phoenixes say as they shoot the brute lord in the face Come on, that was a rhyme. No matter of what race, you have to love the Phoenix because it creates space. <laughs> that did not rhyme. It with does. Space. space? With face? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. You don't believe me, I'll cool, cool, spray cool. you with mace. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. <laughs> she has a slowly but steady spine crawling up, Ben. Uh, wow, MC, you have a lot of zealots. That's something that I would definitely not do in my play. Fortunately, this is MC and. Uh, the day that MC has to worry about what I think about his play, he probably really have to worry about something. So he doesn't have to worry about that right now. We'll Whoop. see what these sellers will be able to achieve, man. War Prism is going to get caught by these investors. Nice shutdown so far by Chef. He's going to lose at least one. Oh, focus. Oh, no, he needs one more fungal. Beautiful fungals here. Oh, and he uses Borrow as well. He only lost one investor so oh. far, man. That was so nicely done. Very well done. Over here we have the phoenixes being a nuisance, but most of these zealots died as well. Taking a look at the units lost resource tab right now, we can see that MC is uh, aggression with Chartles. Uh -oh. Really has wow, that's a nice fungal too, but I don't think he has enough fungals. Well, 
Infest the other investor is a little bit late to that party. You know why he doesn't want to party? Because he's naughty. <laughs> because he's naughty? Yeah. You just tried to rhyme naughty and party? Yeah. I just did not rhyme. Both ends went away. No? You're right. It rhymes. <laughs> You're such a hater on my rhymes. It's really sad. I d I'm not a hater on your rhymes. I'm a hater on the things that you say that aren't even remotely close to rhymes that you try to pass off as rhymes. Hater. <laughs> <laughs> we have five phoenixes over here, Ben, with a lot of energy. Hey. You could kill hey. so many drones. Does happy rhyme with slippy? No, of course but not. But they both end with Y. Yeah, but that's different. <laughs> Be that guy. <laughs> Be that guy. Man, we have five Phoenix over here. They have so much energy. If he only knew there are no investors, of course he cannot know. And I always say, be careful with your Phoenixes. Meanwhile, man, Chef is going to get aggressive over here. And I really think he might yeah, be able to make something this happen. This is a nice looking attack. I mean, Force Fuels are going to be the key to keep MC alive. And if this goes any longer, wow. I cannot believe that MC is getting a 16 minute mothership out of three base and the amount of Zealous that he sacrificed. And he's going up to four base. And he's wow. going to send another Prism across the map. And I. Whoa, Chef, how did you see this? Uh, he, it seems to be. Did he see it? <laughs> yeah, nice. I yeah. mean, I think it flew over this burrowed zergling. It's not um, the right moment to more. A couple of zealots will unload in the back of Sheth's main, but there are zerglings there to deal with it. Luckily, MC has the speed upgrade. I think you can unload units over here, guys. Matter. If 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 anyone has ever tried to put something on his helicopter pad, please let me know. twittercom slash 8 or twittercom slash TV because we wonder. We uh, would like to know. I don't think that you can. Uh, I don't think so either, but I, I don't know. I, I, I hope so. <laughs> I want to see a stalker here once, winning games. Or like a, a pro being dropped there and warping a pilot. And oh, Sheth coming in for some action. Oh, the Colossus is so out of Zimsi Oh my god, he's losing so many uh, high Templar there. Drops only a single storm. Very, very sloppy. Corruptor's going to make wow. very short work of the Colossus. Wow, that's just kind of GG, man. Starting to feel the same way. Fort base is getting cancelled. A big whopping over here, but he's gonna have to force field again, man. He's not force fielding the ramp. If all those roaches stream up, well, does uh, that even he's matter? Messed up anyway, man. Whoa, just Chef morphing the Broodlords right above MC Army. He's making MC mad right now. He's like, look at me now, hater. <laughs> look at me now. Morphing Broodlords above your army. <laughs> MC taps care. out. He's like, all right. I see. Uh, I see what you did there. I would be. I would be scared if I was Chef, though. I would be scared. You don't. You don't. If you make MC angry in a game over three, MC's army. Oh <laughs> man, I think we might see some dancing zealots in game three. <laughs> I think so too. Dancing dark templars. Can dark templars dance? Yeah, they can, right? I have no idea. Okay. I like the oracle dance in Heart of the Swarm. Oracle? Yeah. It dances. Turns into a disco ball. No. Yeah. No. You're yeah. Right. Wow. How did I not do this yet? Guys, we're gonna take a short break. At last game, brought to you by Audible. Uh, you can download and listen to a bestseller today. Head over to nasl.tv/p/audible. To do so, we're going to take a short break. MC, Sheth, game number three, Cloud Kingdom, coming up.